Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw. My name is Brendan Blaze, and we are kicking tonight's show off with Goldberg. Let's check in to see what Goldberg has to say. When I came back at WrestleMania, I came back to do one thing, and that is to main event WrestleMania for the first time in my career. John Cena took all of that away from me, and at WrestleMania, I didn't get to main event, but I did get to step in the ring with John Cena, and I absolutely dismantled him. I destroyed him, I jackhammered him, I speared him, and I took him out. And after the match, I sent a little bit of a message as well. Then I also decided to show up in the main event, because that's what I came here to do. I came here to be a part of the main event. So I showed up, and I took out AJ Styles after he took out Finn Balor. Because AJ Styles, he decides to walk around here thinking he's the man, he's the number one contender, he deserves to be champion. Well, AJ Styles got a bit of a reality check. AJ Styles got reminded just exactly what I'm capable of and what I am all about. A lot of people didn't understand my intentions. It's not about AJ Styles, it's about proving a point and sending a message to the champion. At the time, I thought it was going to be Finn Balor, but as it turns out, the new champion here on Raw is Kevin Owens. And last week, I got in Kevin Owens' face, and I just sent a little bit of a message of my own to the new champ. And Kevin Owens, I'm going to send you another one here tonight right now, because I'm letting you know that I am officially staying around just a little bit longer, because now I don't want to main event WrestleMania. Now, I want to be the WWE Universal Champion. Well, hang on a second, Goldberg. The man that Goldberg faced at WrestleMania is here, John Cena. Well, we saw Cena get destroyed at WrestleMania, as Goldberg put it. What does John Cena have to say here to Goldberg here tonight? Bill, you just delivered me the greatest news I've ever heard because you see, I was hoping that you would stick around just a little bit longer because you see at WrestleMania, you did beat me and in fact you did beat me up a little bit more after our match. So the way I see it, I beat you at the Royal Rumble when I threw you over the top of the rope which was the reason why we had the match in the first place. You beat me at WrestleMania, that means I'm one win. Your one win, well, from my count, the score is a level. It's equal between us, and we need to settle this once and for all. And now I know that you just said you want to be the Universal Champion. That's all good, and I wish you all the best for that. But for right now, you and I, we're not done yet. In fact, I just got finished speaking with the Raw General Manager Christian, and he told me that you're not going to be a part of the Universal Championship match at Payback, which means that... You're free at payback, and since you're back full-time now, well, I say we have one more match. In fact, you don't have a choice because I've already got the match made. It's going to be me and you, one-on-one, -on -one, to settle this between you and I once and for all. And oh, by the way, you want to take things to the next level, well, our match will be a no-holds-barred match. Huge announcement there by John Cena. As Goldberg and Cena, they're going to meet one more time, one last time, one-on-one, -on -one at Payback in a no-holds-barred match. Goldberg wants to be the Universal Champion. That is big news, but he won't get his chance yet. He has to go through John Cena once again before he can move on to the Universal Championship and whoever will be champion. And for right now, ladies and gentlemen, we just got word that tonight's main event will be Dolph Ziggler, Samoa Joe, and Shinsuke Nakamura in a triple threat match. The winner of this match will be a part of a fatal four-way match for the Universal Championship at Payback. We'll have more on that matchup later on. But for right now, here on Superstars, we have Kalisto going one-on-one -on -one with Jack Swagger. Dana Brooke is in action against Summer Rae. Now main event, the American Alpha, they are up against the Golden Truth. Kalisto versus Jack Swagger, it is going to be Kalisto picking up a much needed win. 
Dana Brooke versus Summer Rae. Dana Brooke with the win on the American Alpha over the Golden Truth. It is the American Alpha with the victory. Alrighty, we'll move on to this week's Monday Night Raw. And the A-listers are officially on Raw now. How will The Miz fare when he comes up against the Celtic Warrior? It is Sheamus versus The Miz. That will be a tough, tough challenge for The Miz indeed. But uh, we also have a one-on-one -on -one contest between Carl Anderson and Goldust from the Golden Truth. So the tag champs, the new tag champs, Carl Anderson, looking to bounce back after their loss last week to DX. The former two-time Intercontinental Champion Neville is up against the former United States Champion Rusev. What a clash that will be. Becky Lynch battles Emma one-on-one -on -one with Dana Brooke in Emma's corner as well. And we have tag team action as the Usos are up against the New Day who are making their raw return the New Day. That will be one of our featured contests here tonight. The Usos, if they can get the win, they will earn themselves a rematch against the club at payback for the tag titles. And that triple threat match we spoke about a moment ago, Samoa Joe, Dolph Ziggler, Shinsuke Nakamura, the current US champion, the winner, will get a Universal Championship match at payback. The Miz versus Sheamus, one-on-one. -on -one. It is going to be, wow, there you go, The Miz with a bit of an upset, I would say. Anderson versus Goldust. It is Carl Anderson with the victory. Neville versus Rusev. It is the Bulgarian Brute with the win. Becky Lynch versus Emma. Becky Lynch grabs the victory. It's time for tag team action. Well, we are ready for tag team action here on Raw as the Usos, the former WWE Tag Team Champions, will be up against the returning New Day. The New Day, of course, from SmackDown, now drafted over to Raw. Get themselves an opportunity at the former Tag Team Champions here tonight. Of course, the New Day former champions in their own right. So the Usos, well, they're battling for a rematch. They haven't quite got it yet they have to earn it our raw gm christian has obviously got a lot of great tag teams here on raw and he wants to make sure the usos are still one of if not the best by putting them to the test here tonight against the new day also a good chance for christian to take a bit of a further look at the new day and see where the new day are currently at in the tag team ranks here on raw so if the Usos can get the victory. They will have themselves a match against the club. Of course, Gallows and Anderson for the tag team titles at payback. If not, well then, Christian will be back to the drawing board and will probably look to, I mean, go for another couple tag teams to see how they fare. I would say maybe the new day, of course, and obviously uh, another great tag team in the American Alpha as well. They're a team certainly very close to title contention as well. And I'm sure there's, you know, obviously the A-listers as well. They've, they'll make a good case as well. So there's a few teams around that can certainly jump straight into title contention if the Usos miss out here tonight. So the New Day, they are back here on Raw. It's been a long time, actually, for the Tag Team Champions of the New Day. It's been a, a bit of a rough last year in Universe Mode. They didn't exactly have a great Season 3 at all in Universe Mode. But hey, it's Season 4 now. We'll see how they go in the next season. Can this be the New Day's time to shine? Will they win some Tag Team Gold once again? Well, you go back to the history, of course, Big E and Kofi Kingston, who will be in this match here tonight. As Big E all starts up with a sit-out spinebuster. What a start there for Big E. Well, you look at Big E and Kofi Kingston. They're two of, two of the most prolific uh, champions in Universe Mode history. Even though they haven't been champions at all in any you know title for the last year or so, year plus... Big E, a former US champion, held that title for a long, long time. He was the longest reigning US champion until, of course, Dolph Ziggler and now Shinsuke Nakamura have surpassed him. But uh, definitely but definitely Big E, a very, very impressive superstar. Of course, Kobe Kingston traded that Intercontinental Championship back and forth a couple times in the early days in Season 1 of SmackDown. So a lot to like there from these two. That's why the, when they came together as the New Day alongside Xavier Woods, they were such a threatening tag team. For some reason, just haven't been able to get those wins together. They've been close to getting themselves championship opportunities, but have just failed just when they needed to step up a little bit. But of course, a new start, a fresh beginning. We've seen many superstars already take advantage of that but thus far. Look at Roman Reigns in the recent episode of SmackDown. He had a rough year on Raw. Now he's on SmackDown in a great position there. In fact, he's got a championship opportunity in the next episode of SmackDown. So we see it quite a lot here already, and I'm sure we'll see plenty more of it in the next few months where superstars may have had a rough time on one of the brands, but a brand switch, a brand change, will bring about a huge 
opportunity for them to get a lot of success and get themselves back in title contention. There's a backbone drop there by Big E as he gets in Kofi Kingston here. A new day, they feel as though Kingston and Big E are the best pairing, but uh, Xavier Woods certainly loves to get in the ring sometimes himself. He doesn't always like to stand on the outside, but uh, probably no doubt in my mind, because of their single success and I think the chemistry they have, Big E and Kingston are probably the two best go-to superstars. Here is a hurricane runner there by Kingston. Takes down uh, Jimmy Uso. The Uso has a tough time at WrestleMania against the club, who obviously have been emerging for uh, quite some time as the best tag team. Oh, what about that's from Kingston? Oh, into the DDT. Just when the tag was about to happen, Kingston shuts it down. And that could be a big, big part of this matchup here. A big moment. And just to finish that off, I mean, the club, they've been rising to the top, you know, slowly building their way to tag team championships. And um, they finally got them at WrestleMania. A good, emphatic win over the Usos. And now the Usos, it's time for them to go back to drawing board. I mean, what can they do to knock off the club who have beaten the Usos a couple times now? As Kingston, oh again, this time connects with the Hurricane Runner, landing on Jay, uh, sorry, Jimmy Uso and hits the Hurricane Runner. And there's the driver there by Jimmy as he's going to look to tag in Jay, and he does. Kingston was looking really good there for a short period of time, but it's going to miss out as Kingston against the ropes. And oh, went for the tempted right hand, but Kingston swats it away. And oh, take it off his feet. Well, just to continue on the new day, I mean, look at Xavier Woods, whilst Kingston and Big E have been pretty successful themselves. Let's hang on, look out, the boom drop there by Kingston. Let's not discredit Xavier Woods. He's had a few huge moments for himself, including in the final four of the Royal Rumble. Trouble in Paradise, he went for it, but he missed out as now he gets taken into the corner there by Jay. Xavier Woods has been involved in a number of championship opportunities for singles titles as a super kicked onto Kingston. That could be lights out for the New Day right here. This could be it. Jay thinks he may have him. But a kick out by Kofi. Keeps the New Day alive. But yeah, so whilst Xavier's on the outside right now, you have to remember how good he has been in a number of different occasions here in Universe Mode. Coming close to winning himself a championship on his own. Also cover here by Kofi, but a kick out. So it's a big acquisition for Raw, no doubt about that. The New Day, three really, really good individual superstars and a great trio, a great team. So Raw have really got themselves a great pickup and it's really going to work in their favor here in the draft. But uh, right now they're focused on tag team goal, but obviously with the chance to really expand into perhaps singles championships down the line as here comes Big E off the second. Oh, drops both hands onto the arm of Jay with a double axe handle. Good tag team work there by the New Days. Biggie trying to take advantage in the corner, but Jay able to counter. And now Jay going to try and take Biggie off his feet, but Biggie with a shot to the gut. And now, look out, here comes the power of the big man. Biggie, oh, tosses down Jay Uso, and that is going to hurt indeed. This could possibly be in, be in here for the Usos, but Jay able to stay in it. New Day looking pretty good at the moment. And this is what we wanted to see from the New Day. They've been disappointing to say the least. They're waiting for them to step back up into the spotlight, into the limelight. Give us, give us a taste of how good they once were. You know, show us how good they are. They just haven't been able to show up, but this is a really good showcase so far. The Uso is still in this match, obviously. They're gonna be tough to beat as Big E. Oh, look at this! with a full Nelson and just driving the head into the turnbuckle. Jay is certainly in trouble there. He's got to try and get Biggie out of out of there and wrestle back control of this match. It's a belly to belly there on Jay. Jimmy can only watch on here as Big E is just throwing around his opponent with ease. That's the power of Big E. So he's got to look for the tag as he does. In comes Kingston. Big E now, look at these stomps in the corner, really putting pressure on Jay. There's the tag indeed. So Kingston now, he's going to do the same. Frequent tags back and forth. The New Day showcasing their skills here, really just taking the foot onto the throttle here, really putting the pressure on Jay. Is now Kingston with that drop kick into the corner. Excellent from the New Day. That is good tag team work there from them, and that really... Puts the pressure on Jay. You can see Jimmy's going to get in here and break things up. He knew that his partner and his brother 
was in massive trouble. That could have been all she wrote there for the Usos as Kingston tried to launch himself over the top and he missed. Jay survives. How much longer though? The Usos are in massive trouble. They need a tag. He's going to get one. How big is this going to be for them? Uh oh. Double super kick right on the button. That might be it here for Kofi. Kofi Kingston. Is he out cold? No, he's got some life left in him. I thought he was on life support right there after getting kicked in the face. Not once, but twice. But he still remains in this match. What a turnaround it would be for the Usos if they could win from here because I thought for sure the New Day were going to wrap this one up pretty comfortably. As you can see, Jay really struggling in the corner there. Kingston now trying to put Jimmy away. Jimmy Uso, I think it's all up to him at this point to come back and win this match for his team and for his brother as well. A win here gets him another opportunity at the club for the tag titles. Kingston now drives Jimmy into the corner. Look out, Kingston trying to fire up here. We'll try and get Biggie back in here. And oh, a big counter there by Jimmy. He had to, otherwise, Biggie was going to take advantage. Look out, the knee into the backside of Kofi Kingston. Well, what's uh, Jay doing? It really looks as though he's going to be no factor as a reverse DDT there by Kingston driving in the back of the head of Jimmy to the, into the mat. Now, Jimmy gets Kofi in the corner. And hang on a second. Oh, here we go. Scoop slam. Here comes Jay. Well, they've been struggling this whole time. Jay with a big splash. This could be it now. Is Jay going to make a huge comeback in this match? No, Big E breaks it up. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought Jay was going to pull off a miraculous comeback for the Usos. Just when we thought he was down and out. He comes back, hits the splash. You can see Kingston's got no idea where he is. Big E, meanwhile... Counters that and Kingston connects with a drop kick as well. Kofi Kingston, he's got to keep this momentum that the New Day have. He's got to remain in control. What is he thinking about doing now? Kofi Kingston, he's having a bit of a pep talk here by Xavier Woods now. Meanwhile, Jay's going to get to the corner here. He's got to, he's got to focus on this match. Don't worry about a pep talk. He's a pirate who's been struggling this entire time. Almost getting a tag and... Oh, Kingston now. Well, thank goodness for that. Otherwise, Jay was going to get a tag and all of a sudden the New Day are in trouble. Because Jimmy has looked very, very solid in this one. Jay, not so much. Big E with a stop there to Jay, keeping him down. Jay's got to fight through this. Shot to Big E in the face. Jay now. Drives Big E into the corner. Here comes the tag. All right, we saw this a moment ago. This time, Big E is about to feel the brunt of this splash. A little bit more emphasis in it as well. Thanks to Jimmy Uso, the fresher of the two. The cover now. The big splash. And it is a big ending for the New Day because they have been defeated by the Usos here tonight on Raw. Wow, the Usos survived this onslaught by the New Day. I thought for sure they were done. But they have made a miraculous comeback. The splash by Jimmy Uso. The one we saw by Jay, yeah, it was good. But that was a tired, beaten up man. When Jimmy hit it though, he was fresh and he gave it his all. And he struck Big E right where he needed to, on the chest. And Big E had nothing to kick out. And that means the Usos will be getting a chance at redemption and of course a chance at payback when they take on the club for the tag team titles. Next up on Universe Mario, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to see Roman Reigns go one-on-one -on -one with Finn Balor for the WWE Championship. Roman Reigns wants this big win. Can he finally turn things around and defeat Finn Balor? The winner of this match meets Brock Lesnar at payback for the WWE Championship. That's coming up next on Universe Mode, only on SmackDown. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to find out who will take the final spot in the Fatal 4-Way match at payback for the Universal Championship. Now, you might be wondering, well, we don't know who is in this Fatal 4-Way matchup. Well, we're about to tell you, don't worry. I know you're probably thinking that one is, of course, Kevin Owens, the current Universal Champion. 
And we'll get into that in a moment's time. But for right now, Dolph Ziggler, a man who has been a former WWE champion, looking to get himself back in the title hunt here tonight. He was the final and the runner-up of the WrestleMania Battle Royal. He just missed out on that, but he's not going to miss out on a big opportunity like this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Samoa Joe on Raw. Samoa Joe, one of the hottest prospects in the WWE right now. A man that many believe will be a world champion whenever the hell he goes for it. He's going to get it. Well, Joe might be about to fast track that right now. He could be about to chase that title just as soon as payback. Tonight he gets himself an opportunity in this triple threat match. A chance for the gold. Can Samoa Joe take full advantage of the top picks in the draft for Raw? They realize that how big of a major superstar Samoa Joe will be. And Christian wanted to snap him up as soon as he possibly could. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, the final man in this matchup. A man who knows very well how to win championships and how to defend them as well. A man who could perhaps become the longest reigning United States champion one day. It's Shinsuke Nakamura. Well, Nakamura has been touted as the man who could potentially be a world champion as well. The breakout superstar on Raw. He's very close to winning a Slammy Award for the breakout superstar and even the Raw Superstar of the Year over on the Slammy Awards voting page. Yes, that's a cheap plug. Head over to the website, predatorplace.com if you haven't already to vote on the Slammy Awards. Nakamura featured in many of them indeed. And with good reason. What a year he had. Debuting shortly after SummerSlam and really making a big impact, winning the US Championship straight away. And he's managed to hang on to it all the way up until right now and obviously beyond. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This triple threat match is underway. And of course, Nakamura, you know, he, he's the US Champion right now, but he has a chance to become a double champion here tonight. If he can win, he has a chance to go to payback and take on three other superstars. Of course, Kevin Owens is one of them. And we have gotten word from the Raw General Manager Christian on his other two selections. The first one, of course, is Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins represented Monday Night Raw at WrestleMania in the Brand vs. Brand match against Dean Ambrose. And Seth Rollins successfully defeated Dean Ambrose to earn the first draft pick for Raw. And Christian has rewarded him with a championship opportunity at payback against Kevin Owens. And this man, AJ Styles, of course, the man who competed against Finn Balor for the WWE Championship at the WrestleMania main event. He missed out on that occasion. But Christian has given him one more big chance. And that will be a payback against a new champion. It's Kevin Owens. And it'll be AJ Styles and Seth Rollins up against Owens. And of course the winner of this match will join them to make it a fatal four-way for the Universal Championship. The first time the Universal Championship as the new look championship will be defended. Of course, the Universal Championship taking on the World Heavyweight Championship's history. That's the first time the Universal Championship will be defended. So we will see that championship in action. We will see Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, and AJ Styles in action at payback. And whoever will win this match, and right now, snap me by Ziggler. And oh, back and forth down goes Nakamura. So three of the absolute best here in this match. And oh, Nakamura strikes down Ziggler. So the United States Champion Nakamura in this match, a man who's been champion for over six months. And uh, if he keeps this going, he could become the longest reigning U.S. Champion, which, which of course Dolph Ziggler is currently the longest reigning United States Champion in Universe Mode history. And of course, and that is in all one championship reign. He had a hellacious reign. It was incredible to see his rise. And that rise went all the way to the WWE Championship when he won it at SummerSlam and only held it for a matter of five minutes until it was taken away from him from Finn Balor when Finn Balor of course cashed in the money in the bank briefcase. So both Nakamura and Ziggler had a brilliant year filled of, well for Nakamura mainly highs but Ziggler had a lot of lows to go with plenty of highs. But for Samoa Joe, well he went through a lot of highs and lows himself. He tried to win that NXT championship during his NXT uh, run down there. He was one of the top guys in NXT, dominating many, but couldn't quite capture that NXT championship, which of course AJ Styles held at the time. So Samoa Joe has had plenty of battles with AJ Styles, and he could renew that rivalry at Payback if he can win here tonight. And now neck break by Ziggler. Samoa Joe outside the ring, Nakamura in some trouble. And Samoa Joe, since then, he went to SmackDown and 
was involved in a bit of a rivalry with uh, Bray Wyatt, of course. And in the end, Bray Wyatt did get the, the better of him and the last laugh against Samoa Joe. But uh, Joe went on to, of course, he competed in the Elimination Chamber match. That was a bit of a breakout moment for Joe. So he has had an opportunity at the world title in the past. And oh, Joe, oh, no. Ziggler taken off his feet and slammed onto the turnbuckle pad. Meanwhile, Nakamura watches on as now he comes after Ziggler, but Joe gets in the way. So all three of these superstars, I mean, I guess Ziggler is already established man. He is, without a doubt, a major star here on Raw and will definitely belong in that main event if he can qualify for it. But Samoa Joe and Nakamura are two guys who are breakout superstars in the making and definitely will be champions at some point. But uh, is there time now? That's the big question. Are they ready for that opportunity? Nakamura has had a big rise to the occasion in recent times. And Samoa Joe is just about on the path to getting there himself. So this is a big opportunity for all three of these men. Ziggler wants to retain that main event level status. Samoa Joe and Nakamura want to reach it, perhaps for the first time. Joe, of course, on a new brand. Nakamura has been dominating Raw, and Ziggler has been without a lot of luck. So this is a big match for all three of them. There's an STO there by Joe. Ziggler taken to the outside. And Seth Rollins, AJ Styles, and Kevin Owens awaits at payback. For the Universal Championship, Nakamura trying to hit a right, hit the knee on the Samoa Joe. This time he does, he continues the assault on Joe as he just tosses him down. Ziggler is down, meanwhile, Nakamura continues the pressure on Samoa Joe here on the ramp. And oh, oh, what a knee there by Nakamura, the king of strong style, of course, the United States champion. And for Nakamura, I mean, it's a, it's a heavy load. He's already got a big target on his back as the US champion. Of course, Nakamura defeated Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. It's the face buster there by Ziggler. So Nakamura has been beating a lot of the best superstars we've ever seen here in Universe Mode. Nakamura has been on fire. Some of the names he's been beating has been so, so impressive. So Nakamura, you just cannot deny his ability. His skill is really impressive. And he's, without a doubt, a man who I think could be the, you know, the man who, who might just run this whole show. He could be the face of Monday Night Raw. And he's decided to take the long route and take that slow rise to stardom by coming out of that US championship and really establishing himself as a major star through that. We've seen many superstars take that route and be very, very successful. So perhaps a smart ploy there by Nakamura is he's going to get Samoa Joe back in the ring. He's going to follow it up. I think Ziggler's going to join them as well. Yes, he will. So all three back in the ring right now. So Nakamura, he's got all the tools to uh, make him a big, big star here in Raw. And this is perhaps the moment that we see Nakamura become that star with a win here tonight. He's certainly in a good position right now as Dolph Ziggler's trying to connect with a few knees. He missed out. Now Nakamura's going to drive Ziggler into the corner, but Ziggler countered with an elbow. And now look out, suplexing down Nakamura. And Ziggler decides to show off at the same time as well. Typical Dolph Ziggler. Attempted neck breaker. Joe countering those, shrugs him away. And Joe, oh, with an STO again. Drive Ziggler this time into the mat, and that's going to put a lot of pressure on the show off as Joe stopping away to follow it up. Nakamura is down to the outside. So oh, Joe stopping away into this. Only one man can get this opportunity, only one man can get this spot. So that's going to leave two of these great superstars, these are rising stars here on Raw, without a payback matchup. And that's going to, I think that's going to sting a little bit for these two, whoever it will be. They'll definitely want to try and stick their way on the show of course as Ziggler now takes down Samoa Joe good experience regardless as Ziggler there with a belly to belly slam Dolph Ziggler has a chance here Nakamura is down Samoa Joe on one knee trying to get back up both men are up now as Ziggler went for a right hand Nakamura countering Joe and Nakamura both want a piece of Ziggler here as Joe standing drop kick takes down Nakamura in the end I think he'd got a piece of Ziggler but he wasn't too phased by it Samoa Joe, look out, belly to belly, tossing Ziggler to the other side of the ring. Now Nakamura and Joe. Right hand there by Nakamura is blocked by Samoa Joe. Now another one. Joe blocks it again. Nakamura with the one to Samoa Joe. This time a big kick. Both men exchanging blows here inside the middle of the ring. Meanwhile, Ziggler is down. He's stirring, trying to get to his feet as Joe takes down Nakamura with an STO again. 
Samoa Joe starting to fire up here. Big right hand there by Joe. Uh oh, look out. German suplex. Uh oh. Samoa Joe now to the Dragon suplex and now going for one more suplex. Here it comes again. Joe with another German. Shoulders down. Ziggler's going to get there in time, will he? Oh, I think he missed the shot. He was just panicking for a moment there. He missed, but it turns out Nakamura kicked out regardless as the neck breaker connects there on Joe. Well, Ziggler nearly lost the match right there. Samoa Joe has weakened Nakamura, though. Nakamura in a bad state. A shot to, to Ziggler, though, might just give him a chance to fire back and counter. Nakamura now trying to get these fans behind him. All three men are fan favorites here. The fans are divided. They don't know who to go for. They don't know who to support here. Nakamura, though, getting plenty of cheers by this crowd. As, oh! Suplex there by Ziggler as he keeps up again. Dolph Ziggler, this is his chance. Samoa Joe is down to the outside. And Ziggler's going to win this match. He has to do it right now. Nakamura has been weakened, but Samoa Joe looks as though he's back in here and ready to strike. Nakamura, though, countering. Samoa Joe coming after Ziggler. And look out. Uh oh, a bit of a double team. Inzaguri there is. Nakamura held on to Ziggler, making sure that he wasn't going to move. A shot there by Joe to Nakamura. Ziggler could be out cold. Now it's time for one of these two to take advantage. The third man is out of the ring. He's out of this match. One of these two need to take advantage and win it from here. It's just a counterfest back and forth. Everyone just trying their best, but everyone has found a way to slip out of each other's moves or counter. There's a big knee there by Nakamura. Of course, the king of strong style, the most deadly kicks and knees in the business and has cut Samoa Joe open. A strike there to Joe in the corner as now Nakamura has got some big plans in mind. What the hell is Nakamura thinking? Joe, oh, gets struck with the right hand. Nakamura, oh boy, has Joe up on the shoulders. Look out now, Nakamura drives down Samoa Joe off the top with that avalanche. And now Dolph Ziggler and Nakamura. Oh, wait a second, zigzag, zigzag by Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler strikes out of nowhere with a zigzag and steals the win and steals the show at the same time and has booked himself into the payback main event against Kevin Owens, AJ Styles and Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship. Dolph Ziggler steals this win from Nakamura and has got himself a title match. Well, here you go. Nakamura with the avalanche off the top, driving down Samoa Joe. And Nakamura was pretty pumped up about it as well. Ziggler swooped in, boom, zigzag, just when Nakamura was not expecting it. And takes this win, and takes that title opportunity away from Nakamura. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's episode of You Know Sport. If you did enjoy it, smash the like button for us. Let's try and hit 300 likes on this episode. That is your big title matchup right there, ladies and gentlemen. The four men that will be competing for that championship. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you all next video. Of course, Reigns versus Balor for the WWE Championship. Do not miss it.